What is up guys, my name is Chase and today we're going to be going step by step through setting up the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S Plus. And by the way, let me just make this up front right now. This is how to set up the HD 60S Plus with a Mac. Apparently the Windows side is completely different, but I'll talk about that near the end of the video. So this is going to be a follow-up to a video I made last year where I talked about the HD 60S Plus because I get comments on that video literally like every other day. <laughs> so the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to basically go through a very basic setup of how to set up the HD 60S Plus. And then near the end of the video, I'll talk about all of the FAQs that I got from the last video. Anyway, the things you'll need. Obviously, you're going to need the HD 60S Plus. You are going to need a, you know, some kind of a device that you want to capture, whether it's a Switch, an Xbox, or a PlayStation. You're gonna need the USB-C to USB 3 cable that came with the Elgato game capture. This is pretty much gonna work best if you just use the one that comes with the game capture instead of trying to get a different one. So make sure you use the one that comes with the game capture. You're also gonna need preferably two HDMI cables. You can get away with one, but I'll talk about that later again. I also went ahead and brought a USB-C dongle because I know most of the new MacBooks don't have any USB 3 ports on it. This is one I got off Amazon. I believe it was somewhere between 20 to 40 dollars. Sorry, quick cut. I just realized this is very embarrassing, but this one don't don't get this one. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't work with the game capture, so that's cool. Instead, I have this one. This one's very expensive. I'm sure there are cheaper options than this one, but just for the purpose of this video, since this one seems to be working the best, this is the Satechi um, USB-C hub. I think they have cheaper options. This one was honestly quite expensive. And then finally, you're going to need a monitor or some kind of a TV. So all right, let's get this party started. So I'm going to be working with my Switch today. I already have the power plugged in in the back here. So next up, we are going to go ahead and plug the HDMI cable in. All right, so that's plugged in. So we're gonna close that up. Next up, we're going to go ahead and set up the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Obviously you can do this in whatever order you want. I'm just doing it like whatever is easiest for me right now. But we're gonna take the USB-C to USB 3.0 cable um, and plug it into the Elgato. Right next to the side that says in, there's a little USB-C port. It looks like a little like rectangle. Plug that guy in. And then obviously you're gonna have this side of the USB cable. I'm sure you can probably tell whether or not your computer has a port that looks like this. And so since this particular MacBook Pro does not have a USB 3.0 port, it only has USB-C. That's why we need this guy right here. It's a little dongle that goes there. Please excuse the cables. It's kind of messy. It's getting messy up in here. I will leave a link in the description to an identifier Mac page on Apple that tells the exact specs of all of the Macs from like the past. I mean, probably since the Mac first came out. Actually, so what you can do is go onto your Mac here and then press about this Mac. It'll bring up a little window and tell you exactly what model Mac you have. For example, this one right here that I have is MacBook Pro 16-inch 2019. So you can go to that page that I'll leave in the description and just match up, you know, whatever Mac you have with the specs. It'll say whether it has a USB 3.0 port or a USB-C port. Basically, the bare minimum you need is USB 3.0. If it's USB 2.0, it's not going to work. I guess before we do anything, we can actually go download the software. Um, once again, only for Mac. This is only for Mac. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get the software for the Elgato, but you go to the downloads page on Elgato's website. There's a little menu right here. It says select your product, so we're going to select the HD 60S Plus, because that's what we have, and Mac, obviously, and it'll come up with the game capture software for Mac. Press this little arrow button to download it, and it should start downloading. So it's gonna show up in this little zip file, just click on it and it should automatically open it. Drag and drop the software into wherever you want it to be. I'm gonna put it in the applications folder so that it's right here, easy to access, you can open it, and boom bang. Uh, it obviously says uh, connect your device to get started because we don't have anything connected yet. So let's finish up connecting everything and then it should pop up on the screen here. We are going to take the HDMI cable that we plugged into the Switch or whatever game console you're using. Plug that into the side that says in. Make sure it says in on the side of the HDMI port. Plug that in and then it should pop up on our screen here. If it doesn't, you may have to press this little like drop down menu here and there might be like a different, like for example, this one says HD 60S plus number two. Sometimes the input changes for some reason, but anyway, there we go. And then our switch is up on the screen. We can use it just like this and 
yeah, you're pretty much good to go. If you want to adjust the game audio, there's this little thing here that you can uh, move the dial up and down how many decibels you want to go up or down. I usually just like to leave it on zero. This is if you want to stream and then yeah, this is for, you know, whatever you want to title your videos. There's also this little menu here in the software for live commentary. You can change that to, I don't know, whatever microphone you use, whether it's like a, you know, USB microphone or whatever. You can use the built-in MacBook microphone. But then actually we're not done setting it up yet properly. Because technically you could use it like this. You could use, you know, you could use the screen on your computer. Um, there is a bit of delay, so I wouldn't like recommend it. To properly set it up, we have a monitor right here and we have a second HDMI cable. We're going to plug this on the other side of the HD60S Plus where it says out. That means output. So this is the output for the HDMI and we're going to output it to this monitor right here. We're gonna turn on our monitor and it should pop up on this monitor or whatever TV you're using. All right, there we go. And we have switch on the TV. All right, then, and honestly, you're pretty much good to go. You can press the record button and start recording your gameplay. It's very, very easy. And then if you want the commentary to come in, there's this little blue microphone button. Press that and then you'll get so you'll be able to talk and then you can adjust the um, audio level of your uh, microphone versus the gameplay with these little dials. You can make the your voice louder or you can make the game quieter, whatever you want to do. And yeah, it's very like, it, it is basically plug and play. I know I said that last time and then I got a bunch of people who weren't able to just plug and play. Hopefully this clears things up, I don't know, but we'll get to the FAQs after this. All right, so the frequently asked questions I got from my last video about the HD 60S Plus. Yeah, just to touch on what I was talking about earlier about using, you know, your computer as the screen and, you know, because I guess people might not have a second monitor to use or they might just want to use the computer as the sort of like the TV. I've seen people who have done it this way, just like use the, use the computer and not have a monitor here on the side to play on. It works, but there's a bit, there's like a tiny, tiny bit of delay, which means it's probably not great for like first person shooters or stuff like that if you're just playing like i don't know like i don't know i have tetris here <laughs> if you're playing like tetris i'm sure it, it like the delay wouldn't matter too much the delay is very small so it won't it won't mess you up too much but i would highly highly recommend just plugging it into a separate tv or monitor if you have one Another question I got is like, you know, I, I think a lot of people weren't very satisfied with the game capture software, which I am honestly not. I, I rarely, rarely ever use the game capture software for like capturing stuff. If you're trying to do like more complex stuff on your setup, like, you know, add an overlay or like put your webcam up, you technically can with the game capture software. Personally, I would highly, highly recommend getting a different software, like for example, OBS, which I'm using to record this video. You go into OBS, you add a video source, select the game capture, and you you should pretty much be good to go. You can adjust the audio and the audio settings, of course. I'm not gonna go too deep into OBS. If you guys want that to be like a separate video, I can, but for the most part, feel free to go check out some OBS tutorials on YouTube. There are some really like in-depth and good ones. This one is more focused just on setting up the Game Capture HD 60S Plus. OBS is a very good substitute if you don't want to use the Game Capture software. OBS is especially good for streaming, which I know a lot of people want to do. Oh, and then one thing I did get a lot of questions on is how to do uh, like voice chat. So we have an Xbox controller here. What you're going to want to do is get some extra cables. Yeah, unfortunately, if you want to do voice chat, you have to go through extra steps. Personally, I think the easiest option would just like, you know, use Discord on OBS or something. But if you just have to use the in-game voice chat for whatever reason, you're going to want one of these like splitter cables. Um, basically, it is a headphone jack splitter, basically. You obviously have one side that goes into the headphone and then two extra sides. And so what you're going to do, you're going to take your Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, whatever you have. Um, there should be a little headphone jack on the bottom. Plug this guy in so you have two little headphone jacks now. You're also gonna want a 3.5 millimeter cable to 3.5 millimeter, basically like two headphone jacks. And then you're gonna plug one side in here, and then the other side you are going to plug into the Game Capture HD 60S Plus right next to the in port. There's a little like headphone jack, you can just plug it in there. And what that's gonna do is take the audio from the controller from the headphone jack and put it into the game capture. And obviously you're gonna wanna take your headphones or whatever you're using and plug it into the other side. And then over here in the software, you're gonna wanna go back into this little toolbar menu, click this box with analog audio that is going to take the audio from this little headphone jack here. 
So make sure you check that and then you should pretty much be good to go. It should record the audio coming from the controller. But then make sure, you know, if you aren't using the controller audio, then you uncheck this box with analog audio so that it's coming from the HDMI. And then of course, you know, this video in particular that I'm making right now that you are watching is for the Mac. This is not for Windows, not gonna work for Windows. Windows is a completely separate thing. But yeah, this was a very, very chonker video and I hope some of this made sense. If you guys wanna see more of like my tech videos, check out some of the videos below. If you like this video, please, please, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell. Also, since you're here, go check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash chaseyama, why not? <laughs> but for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.